Greetings, my fellow survivors. I am an unlikely hero, back once again in the hostile world that is stranded deep. And today, I'm going to go over the native inhabitants of Pacifica. Some of which are passive and docile, and others who, they want to eat you for dinner. So, to make sure you don't end up like this guy, I'm going to teach you guys about what the animals in Stranded Deep are capable of, and what you get from them, so you can go from just merely surviving to thriving. If you found this video helpful, like always, hit that like button and subscribe for more Stranded Deep content. Also, I'm on Twitch at twitch.tv slash anunlikelyhero7, so feel free to follow me there. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and meet the local fauna of Stranded Deep. First, let's go ahead and start with the passive creatures of Stranded Deep. These creatures do not attack and they cannot hurt you, but what they can do is feed you. The giant grouper fish is one of these creatures. Very easy to kill. In fact, I feel almost bad, but man, it's got a lot of good eating. Next up, we have the marlin fish, which is found in the deep ocean. It's pretty skittish and very hard to kill because it will just swim away. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been able to kill one yet, but it's definitely possible. And if you get the job done, you get rewarded with four large meat. One of the most common animals in the game is the seagull. I honestly wouldn't bother hunting these birds since it's a little tricky to do and the reward for doing so makes them not worth it at all. You're better off just hunting small fish with a fishing spear if I'm being honest. The boar is a slippery little devil, but if you kill this little guy, you'll get two medium meat and a rawhide. Oh, excuse me, two rawhide. And they will respawn in seven game days. But just beware, where a little boar is, sometimes daddy lurks in the shadows. One of my favorite animals in Stranded Deep is the whale shark. It's found in the open ocean and is a friendly shark. He loves to follow the player's raft around, silently encourage you to never give up. I have never killed the whale shark, nor will I. But if you do, you'll receive three large meat and three rawhide. There are also passive ocean animals that cannot be killed, therefore cannot be harvested. The humpback whale is one of these creatures. He likes to show off and do a bunch of tricks for you. And though this is not confirmed or researched, I feel like I never get attacked by sharks when one is near, and they are always a welcome sight in Stranded Deep. Other creatures that cannot be harmed or interacted with include the sea turtle, the stingray, which cannot harm you, although they absolutely can in real life, and also the reef shark. I'm not gonna be going over all the little fish, but a lot of these fish you could spear and catch and eat, and also, you can find bats at night on most islands. All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's go over all the aggressive species in Stranded Deep. The first aggressive animal that we have is the bastard man himself, the crown of thorns starfish. If the player steps on them, they will be poisoned and need to find a pie pie plant to heal. These guys love to hang out in shallow water just waiting for you to step off of your raft. So be careful, and if it's nighttime, bring a flashlight. Next, we have the sea urchin, which will also poison you if touched. Sometimes they can be in hard to see places. So be sure to watch out for them when you're in reefs or in shipwrecks. The lionfish is poisonous as well. The problem is you need these guys to make shark repellent. So just go ahead and give them a good stab with the fishing spear, but don't get too close. The sea snake is also poisonous like the lionfish, but unlike the lionfish, it has no purpose, so just stay away from it. Yup, that's a rattlesnake. Don't move, don't panic, it's just holding its ground. Locate and exterminate with extreme prejudice. Oh, and you can skin and eat the snake as well. It doesn't give you much meat, but maybe some satisfaction? If the snake does bite you, it will apply the poison effect, and it will keep attacking you if you get too close. Crabs. Although they don't do much damage, they do attack, so they belong in this category. They're what most beginning players' diets consist of. The giant crabs, however, can be dangerous. 
They love to attack the player when they're not paying attention. They have a hard carapace that thrown weapons will break on. A good way to kill them is to either aim for the face or sneak up behind him or just attack him as he's attacking you if you can stomach the health you're gonna lose. From killing a regular crab, you get one small meat. From killing a giant crab, you get two medium meat. The last aggressive land animal we have is the giant boar. He has a pretty good amount of health and can deal pretty severe damage to lower level players. But the rewards for killing him make it worth it. You get four rawhide and two large meat from it. Did somebody say luau? Our first shark is the hideous goblin shark. You'll notice him from his erratic movement. He is seen in open ocean and is very fast and aggressive. He seems to always try to want to chase my raft while I'm sailing. Upon harvesting, he gives you three rawhide and three large meat. The tiger shark is noticeable from his striped and dotted pattern. Although he is aggressive, he likes to circle his prey for a bit before attacking. But if you attack him, get ready for a fight. They are mostly found in shallow waters, but can occasionally be found in open ocean. Whenever possible, it's always a good idea to try to kill the shark from your raft. Although fighting sharks can be dangerous, it has really good rewards. If you in fact kill a tiger shark, you're going to get three large fish meat and three raw hides. Not bad. Our next shark is the hammerhead. He's pretty hard to miss. If they see the player, they will go straight at him. If you hit them while they are charging at you, they will usually break off their attack. Also, one thing you should know about... <sighs> they are found mostly in shallow waters and like the tiger shark can grab you and cause the bleeding effect. After killing them, you get three large meat and three rawhide. Finally, we have the great white shark, the apex predator. He's a lot bigger than the other sharks we talked about, but way more dangerous. He has more health points than any other creature in the game. Although, there have been numerous reports of even bigger creatures in the area, but those are just myths, right? As you can see, it took a lot to take the Great White down. You should definitely only fight him from the safety of your raft. I've seen only two Great Whites in my entire time playing Stranded Deep. Both times have been at night, but also in deep ocean. The easiest way to find him is make sure there are no islands nearby and almost go to the edge of the map. Be aware that they can also flip over smaller rafts. If you manage to kill these huge creatures and drag it to shore, you'll receive four large meat and four rawhide, but also glory. There are three other unique creatures out there in Stranded Deep. They're the most powerful of all. They're all part of the end game, so I don't want to spoil it by going over those. But what I can tell you is to look out for things out of the ordinary. They are found only in specific areas with a specific landmark. You're going to have to fight and kill all three of these creatures to beat the game. You're going to have to be very well equipped and prepared to face these powerful beings. If you're not, a watery grave awaits you. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. Also, give me a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get notified whenever I come out with my next video. Thanks for watching everybody and happy hunting. Don't die.